apparently <laughs> okay apparently the technical <laughs> staff wanted us to be live only oh. when we said we would be live so <laughs> until then everybody has to be dead no i'm kidding so welcome everybody and this is such a such a pleasure after <laughs> such a long time to have a new episode of the uplifters up in the air literally up in the air <laughs> and for those of you who have forgotten or need a bit of reminding uplifters is this series of interviews dedicated to people who would like to bring more in the world than just meets the eye it's for those people who have found a way to uplift others to bring more joy to bring more 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 enthusiasm <laughs> um a bit more of consciousness if you want in their own unique way and i'm so happy to have geraldine ling with me today hi geraldine hi Happy Wednesday! It's such a joy to be here. Oh, happy, <laughs> happy, whatever. It's like we started a bit earlier, and now we. Yeah. I said you, you have to stop. You, you have to stop from saying whatever you want to say because the interview <laughs> has not started. But let me give you a bit of a background. I don't know Geraldine. That's the truth, right, Geraldine? We don't That's know each true. other. That's true. That's true. We. We haven't literally connected <laughs> until one day before my birthday, right? Mm -hmm. You and got a little surprise, didn't you? <laughs> and I got a little surprise and oh boy, can I tell that I've been dancing and jumping around and inviting everybody to shake their booties all day long just with one <laughs> cute invitation on the latino bar radio station which geraldine told me selena at 8 30 you you should you should be online i'm going to um what did you say i'm going to dedicate i'm uh, going to give you a, an earth creation pre-birthday yeah. shout out come and join us here's the invitation and, link and I tune was like, in and get your body moving and it worked it it worked like a swiss <laughs> clock it's like the moment i heard the music i was like who's this woman how does she know that i like that what's this so geraldine now it's up to you who are you you know in these 10 seconds and what would you like us to know about you and uh, then we go to the uplifters and what's what's your Mm. what's your sparkle what's your what's your bling but then first <laughs> we want to know who you are who do yeah. we talk to oh well hi i'm geraldine i was born in the uk and i live in the uk near the famous blackpool tower that's the replica of the eiffel tower in paris mm. and um i'm one of these people that have always loved dancing and been energized by music and energy <clears throat> excuse me and from about 18 months old I was notorious for dancing around in a nappy hearing music didn't know what it was <clears throat> and it wasn't it wasn't until my mid-20s really that I knew that my body always wanted to dance more to learn technical dancing so to speak go to classes and beyond that i always had this sense around me that it was possible and i was able to <clears throat> excuse me go to local classes where i lived at the time in the north of england and um, it really went from there but i've always had this innate knowing this inner guidance the gut instincts the intuition saying to me stay off the drugs stay off the alcohol stay off the drink and the smoking, eat well, exercise, and it will. your body will serve you well in the future. And that was 30 odd years ago. So when I wow. had that inner calling, I listened to it, didn't know how it was gonna show up, where, when, and it, it all just blossomed um, in around, when I was about 25 actually, and everything started to manifest from there so i went to dance classes i then entered the north and west region of england regional salsa dance heats and i won 
those competitions in 2000. I'd only been dancing about two, two years or so. And um, then in 2005, I entered the British Open Salsa Dance Championships, where I came oh. forth. And from there, it was all around the, the unique creativity of self-expression, um, learning to put my own makeup on through going and studying I have makeup, to say, makeup artistry. I have to say that your eyes are, are stunning. I was like, oh, I cannot take my eyes you. off your eyes. <laughs> so speaking about, you know, the sensuality of the body and the joy yeah. of the sensuality of the body. Wow. Okay, yeah. so go on, go on. I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. <clears throat> So from there, I, I've always loved sewing and hand embroidery and machine sewing. And because I'm very petite, I'm the height and build of Kylie Minogue. I, I found very quickly that there weren't costumes or outfits that suited my body that fitted well. So I intuitively then went out to fabric shops and started receiving lots of information around textures and colors and sensuality of touch with the body and i got lots of fabrics and made my own costumes embellished my own dance shoes so i was then starting to create my own choreography dance routines i was then performing dance shows around the uk i actually performed at the world famous blackpool tower for a friend's surprise 40th out the blue wow yeah, and it was only when I really came through to access consciousness and the tools and modalities of receiving more ease with your body that things started to manifest even quicker, like riding a bike at a faster speed. And I soon realized that I was naturally absorbing other people's pain in my body. Ooh. And I, I, I didn't know it was my pain. I made the assumption and conclusion and judgment that it was mine. So when I started the journey of access and the body classes that you can do, I soon realized that I was able to use different tools, strategies and processes to release that pain, tension, trauma even in my body, yeah. not just from my life and previous lives, but other people's as well that I was magnetized to in that healing fixing modality through dance and, and touch and and like tantra and massages and that kind of thing and it was becoming more and more apparent that i re i was required to step up and let it all go and then when lockdown came in 2020 ah, that's that's the, my that favorite the big part. This point. Is, yeah 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 i want to know what happened in <laughs> lockdown I want to know. So tell us more. So through lockdown, there were a lot of dancers and DJs, event hosts, promoters, all around the Latin scene of the world that were struggling to cope with their, their own mental health, the mood. You know, we're naturally gifted with high energy that we want to share and express our joy and our gifts with others. So when you've got those restrictions and distractions in place, my idea then was to do online Facebook lives and then I created a, a gentleman's health and well-being group called Being the King of Your Creation Life. If anyone wow. wants to join that for gentlemen. Wow, we will put the link somewhere yeah. at the end of the <laughs> interview. Yeah. So this and is one, this is one for men, but 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 alongside that, I recognized that there was a a desire and an energy pull for me to create a ladies group called shine your inner sensual goddess light so anyone that has been through the realm of dance world whatever dance that is hip-hop cha-cha-cha rumba kazumba whatever when you are out of a social environment and you quite solo and isolated in many respects your body contracts to a degree where you, you actually suffer in many ways. It's not mm. in our nature to be hidden from view. We're naturally uh, extroverts to show off our dance abilities. So Can I started a group. Wait, you have to say more about this. Okay. 
Yeah. You know, so you know, you were you were saying about this that that we have this amount of high energy that has to be expressed, and then when we are not expressing it, we go into this contraction. To what? Who? To what extent is this contraction a refusal? For me, you know, for me, a, ref it's a, yeah, a refusal, but like acknowledging, sharing my joy. So it's like being given a present and then having it taken away. And it's like a manipulation tool. And it actually starts to suppress everything that you be. It, it slows you down. It slows the body down. It slows the energy of your cells down to the point where you become like a comatose moronic robotic state of stillness and that's not who we be like a like a corpse like so no, don't do anything just but i mean how long can you watch netflix how many hours <laughs> i mean how many hours can you be cooking or sewing or cleaning your house at some point that energy has to come out somehow yeah. Yeah. so well i i've not had a tv for over 20 years so for me it's always been instinctual to do health and well-being, to eat well, to exercise, to have fun, to socialize. And when that's taken away from you and things aren't open on a social scene, that's when I realize that there is a capacity online then to, to share more. You can still have fun sharing your joy in a different way Absolutely. in your own environment that still creates that exponentialized momentum to keep your body moving and it might be that you pivot in a different way or a different style it might be that you do things slightly at a different time for example and what uh, you realize is that if you still choose that you can still create ease with your body in a way that's fun so everyone used to laugh at me i used to have an inflatable man looked like a beach man called Happy Harvey and I used to dance with him and all sorts. I was on roller boots doing Facebook lives and falling on my backside. I was willing to show up and be vulnerable and make a tits arse of myself, basically. <laughs> but that's, that's absolutely phenomenal. Where were you? Oh, wait, I'm, I guess I've been in your group. Have I been in your group? I've seen you dancing. I've seen you dancing in your group a few times. Didn't I? I did. I did. Yeah. Maybe. I did. Maybe. <laughs> okay, tell us more about your group. Okay, what's happening in the group? So with the ladies styling group, especially the shine you're in essential goddess light. For me, it was all about going back to the basics, going back to the tech, not just the technicalities of dance, but it was tuning into your body with your breathing, with calming your energy, with lowering your walls and barriers of judgment that a lot of women still oh. criticize their bodies for that is like an invisible barrier to receiving and gifting the joy of dance especially with salsa it's a partner hold dance that stops that energy flowing like an electrical current so when you're in your head a lot and being a head thinker your body gets neglected and dis uh, disconnected and that's a form of abuse so when you're not aware that you're not connected with your body and expressing your body and having gratitude for it and hugging it and saying thank you and including it in everything that you do with your body movements, you start to realize that the, the, the joy fizzles somehow. It, it, it's like the fizz of Coca-Cola going flat. Yeah. And is it only movement or is something else? Because right now I'm like, you know, uh, <laughs> experiencing not having taste, not having smell. And I'm looking around me like, yeah, life is not that beautiful without smell and, and, and taste. But is this a reason for not enjoying it? Is this a reason for not enjoying the body? Is it a reason to, to just sit on the couch and do nothing because... Well, I have to admit, in my case, there is a lot of my joy of life that goes away with 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 texture, with pleasure, with with um, taste, texture, and and 
how should I say, smell, scent. I don't even recognize my dog. That's mm. very sad. Oh. So what would you say? What what would what would what would you recommend to somebody who's like somehow you know falling deep? I'm I'm somebody who enjoys a good dance. That's for sure. Put me some music on and that's we're going to go to the radio part as well. But then <laughs> When you don't find the inside your resources, what would you recommend to people? You know, sometimes you're like flat there. Uh, my only concern right now is that I don't have taste. I don't have smell. I'm so, I'm so pathetic. What would you recommend to somebody like me? Well, all through like lockdown, I've lost my taste and smell three times. Oh. And it's still, it's still not back now either. 100%. Oh. There are days when I smell my fresh peppermint tea. And there are days that I don't. So I've gone to essential oils. I have jars of oils. So I smell those to help activate the taste buds and the, the scents and the ear, nose and throat sinuses. I eat a lot of garlic, fresh ginger, all the natural spices that start to stimulate all of the internal organs and help detox and cleanse them as well. So that's one thing that I do. Another thing that I do for music and focus and, and calming concentration is I listen to a lot of solfeggio music. So solfeggio music is all around Hertz frequency energy and it mm -hmm. activates all of your chakra points and, the, and it resonates colors and expands and ripples out through your body. And what I found is that helps me to expand my energy despite wow. what distractions are going on around me and for me it's the case of right this is what I'm choosing to do even if it's just for 10 minutes and I'm doing it now I take action on that I I'm learning very well especially through lockdown to not procrastinate that we can be prone yeah. to do if we haven't got that inner light of inspiration going and it is a mindset, it is a whole ethereal being mindset that I've learned to be resilient with. And I think that's served me well through lockdown. That's something that perhaps anyone that's listening might be interested in. And every solfeggio frequency has a different Hertz frequency. So for example, the heart, when you're lacking self-care or self-loathing or lack of self-love, 639 hertz solfreggio music is beautiful. You just feel it in your heart and it expands. I, I guess we can find a lot of, of, of examples on YouTube, right? Or something yeah. like that, the different frequencies. But this yeah. is this is something I've never tried. I have to I have to admit ah. I never tried. So I will. Oh. I will. I will. I will. Let me too. let me see what this is going to create in my world. But speaking about mm. music, how did you land in the in the most in the funniest <laughs> in the funniest combination <laughs> of the Latino bar music where mm -hmm. it was like <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, we're going to put a link. You can connect and you will find Geraldine there every <laughs> Tuesday and every every Thursday, right? Yeah. In the every morning. Tuesday, every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. UK time. We call the Wacky Breakfast Show with Nikki Price and I. So we can it is. <laughs> and it is wacky. It's off the wall. I laugh a lot. I tell naughty Nikki off a lot because he's very saucy sometimes. But we do things like health and well-being tips, eye tips of the day, weather reports, fun facts, did you know facts, things that you can actually put into practice, pragmatic tools, simple techniques that you can try. And, you know, it might be a memory job or it might be something that you've never heard or tried before. It's about being open-minded to trying anything and everything that resonates with your body and energy and gets you all effervescent and giddy. <laughs> Giddy, so, effervescent and giddy. I yeah. love this. I love it. and this. This is also it's it's very it's a, what happened to me. It's like it it ignited a sort of a curiosity in me. I wanted Ooh. to learn more about you. I wanted to learn more about Patrick. I immediately said, "I want you to be on this on this <laughs> interview." So what is wow. what is your secret? Well, 
what is your secret? For me, I've learned more and more, especially with the tools of access and the team of access and Gary and Dane that allow you to learn and teach yourself tips and techniques about tuning into your own body and its own awareness and trust your gut instincts, trust what your body's communicating with you in a very different way, an energetic way than what we're taught in this reality. So through lockdown, I happened to be on a, a big Zoom party with a lot of other teachers, performers, event hosts, you know, just do social get together. I turned up in a wig like I usually do and dress up and I was just like giddy shaking around and just showing up being me in this funny kind of outfit and dance energy was enough for Nikki to turn around to a, a gentleman that I knew through the group for him to invite the question, who is she? I want to know who she is. And from there we got talking and then I, I've been on the radio show with him ever since. And that's how it blossomed, wow. just by showing up with my energy and my body really. <laughs> so basically it works. Be you change the world. Yes. Be you invite the world to, to a totally different reality. It, it, totally. And the more you start using those tools and the questions, what would it be like for this to show up with these? What would it be like for that to show up with? And just have a question and throw it out to the universe. What I'm learning more and more is the universe always magnetizes the question of the energy that you're asking for. And it goes, OK, let's bring something in for you now. So one but, example. But you're one of the examples because i was asking i was asking the universe i was asking universe please show me who would like to be a guest in the uplifters mm -hmm. and then <laughs> <laughs> what happened well geraldine popped i mean hello mm -hmm. and isn't this beautiful exactly as you say when you're that energy the universe is going to magnetize and love how you say it you magnetize for me it's like yeah. it's pulling in everything all the yeah. elements required and my body i don't know about you but my body tingles and gets all giddy and excited and if anyone's seen the film billy elliott he's an epitome of a, a beautiful boy who has a gift for dance and he's stigmatized and bullied and traumatized and abused by his family and community and when the music starts and he was in his interview to go into dance school all he all he expressed himself to be was when i when i hear the music my whole body lights up and shakes up and gets energized and that is the same for me and i just thought wow what a beautiful potent quote that was from the film just that in itself was is the epitome of me so, uh, what yeah. is beautiful to experience is that your you getting into that state of joy <laughs> with your body invites other bodies to experience the same thing. And I know a lot of people in my case when I when this happens, I'm also uh, let's say a bit explosive. Not everybody <laughs> can you know, and I learned with the years to no longer deliver like the full blast because I don't want people to be like smashed on the walls. <laughs> but <laughs> I realized that when I don't go into their world and look, will, will they become a wallpaper or can they take it? it those are the most, the most uplifting moments for me because I'm not holding anything back and my body is contributing to other bodies so maybe yes maybe they will become nice wallpaper after meeting me but what I know <laughs> is that that's going to change something in their world and in the beginning the first time when they meet me they say uh you're so obnoxious you're so annoying you're too much it happened <laughs> It happened recently and I was like, come on, people, really? And then I said, but thank you, because we all we learned was to be good girls and to sit in our bench and not do not say anything that would upset everybody, anybody while we actually want to rip heads off. And I was I was saying, well, you know what? One of the traits of the uplifters is to be willing to be themselves, regardless what other people 
are thinking at the first sight, you know. Totally. And that's being you. Basically, yeah. be you, be you, yeah. and be who you are because all the <laughs> others are taken. Now, Geraldine, how does how does the radio show and your dancing and and your teaching career? Because you told me you you are also teaching. How do they all come together? How do they? I I, I tend to blend them when I'm teaching a class online. I will use music inspired from the radio station and then and embellish it and then use the chakra energy, ask questions, tools and process of access, allow the ladies to let go of all of the judgments, like releasing a plug from a sink of water, dirty water, and allow it to flow out of you. So there are techniques that I use that actually uplift, like you say, other ladies. But we sometimes do Facebook lives together, Nikki and I, we just spontaneously come on air and we just pop up, you know, like a jack in a box. And um, even even in lockdown where we've had to queue up, you know, in supermarkets and things like that to get in, I've just been there funking away and dancing away and doing my hours uh, dance exercise and dancing down the aisles, getting my food. So everywhere I'm choosing to dance and listen to inspiring, uplifting music. And when I'm not on the air, I will listen to Valerty in a radio station and just promote and support other DJs as well. And it's infectious, you know, we're an international radio station that covers a lot of genres with the Latin music scene. So it's, it's just amazing to see so many people being inspired by music alone you're infecting the world with joy and Aww. you are infecting the the world with the virus of bodies moving with pleasure and joy and thank you so 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 much for this and for reminding me that there are so many people out in the world who would like to be reminded as well that the bodies are to be enjoyed as you said it cuddle it say thank you be grateful mm. for it yeah look at that mm. look at that look at that mm. and then when <laughs> it happens sometimes that you lose it you i don't know like me now with the taste and the smell that annoys me so much what else is there available for you that would remind you of your un undeniable connection with your body what else can you ask your body to show you about being sensual about being joyous about being you know the beauty what is it about touch and sensuality that's been so taboo for so long that's actually a lie especially around women oh that's a different episode Mm. women and touch so Geraldine just before we say goodbye where do people find you where can they find you if they if they are inspired by you do you offer private sessions do you offer uh, online classes dancing or tell us what do you offer and tell us where people can find you yeah I offer one-on-one -on -one tuition or small group zoom sessions for health and well-being I have overcome a lot of allergies. I've also just recently found out about my autism traits. So autism in females or X-Men capacities. That is a whole genre as well that's just being tapped into, especially in the UK. Um, so you can find me on Facebook, Geraldine Ling, through yourself. I'm also contactable by email, which is peachy k at e dot email i'll send that in the we links will, as well we will put everything in the links after the the the, the recording is done yeah and so anything to do with access and bars practicing body processes anything to do with breaking down barriers and fears and anxieties that i i had for a long long time and um expressing your joy with dance and music and, and sensuality that's where i love to be really i'm also writing my autobiography and other books and i'm putting together an online lady styling dance course empowerment course as well so i've got a lot of things going on 
but I am reachable on those platforms and through yourself. Thank you so, 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 so much, Geraldine. This was such a delight to have you here and to know you. And I know this is not the last time that we meet each other. No. It was just the first <laughs> time that we connected differently. So what can I, what can I wish you? Oh, wish me a wonderful day and lots of sparkly joy with our beautiful bodies. So be, it. <laughs> so be it. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you, everybody who's watching now and in the future. And how did we get so lucky to have you today, Geraldine? Bye, Thank everybody. You. Thank you for having me. Take care for now. <laughs>